decided to write a journal on everything that's happened recently. A lot has happened. God taught me a lesson that I'll never forget. And it all started last week. And I'm frozen And I realize I've been chosen Am I moving and improving Where I've been today In the middle of a billion Will I stand I did not do that wrong I, I played the card correctly No, you don't count your actions right on the I do game. count my actions no. every time it's, it's two, you get two So it ends up being three And then to four and then to five So I have five actions that I'm playing And so I use the one for the uh, the villa workers village, and then I used the other one for the uh, the goons, and that took up the two. So I had three left. There were three still. No, you only had two left. No, 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 no. there were three. You there had three. I had the two five total. No, left. there was three. You can't count. Yeah. What? No. You can't count. Get this wrong Seriously. every no, no, every no, no, time no. you get this wrong. No, no, no. Married? Uh, yeah. Sounds like you guys are having some problems. Yeah, you could say that. Has this become a reoccurring theme in your marriage lately? Come to think of it, it has. Now that's a problem. Do you know what your guys' marriage needs? No. What does it need? Your marriage needs Grace. That's me, Grace Thompson, marriage counselor here at St. Matthew's EMC. Here's my card. I look forward to seeing you too. Yup, that's me all right. Now you're probably wondering, how did a 16 year old become a marriage counselor? Well, that career actually belongs to my mom. She's the official marriage counselor here at my church, but she and my dad decided to go on a long needed vacation and she let me take her place till she got back. What she didn't know was that I saw this as the ultimate opportunity to start a career. Hello? Hey, Mom. Hi there. You doing okay? Well, it's only been an hour since you left, so... I know! I just wanted to make sure you weren't freaking out. Make sure you get the instructions out of the top drawer in my office. You have to read those because you are filling in for me this week. Yeah, yeah, I know what to do. I'll be fine from here on out. Thanks, Mom. Okay, sweetie. Love you. Have a great week and call me if you need anything. Bye! Do you think she's going to be okay? Oh yeah, she's not even nervous at all, so she'll do great. It's not like she has that much to do. I just hope she doesn't get creative again. Kathy, it's time to get creative. My mom's done a great job and all, but what her business needs is a little kick. Something to spice up the marriages. I don't know, Grace. Shouldn't you just follow the instructions? I don't need instructions. I've seen enough soap operas to know how marriage works. <laughs> all right then. Do you want any breakfast before you go? No thanks, I don't have enough time to eat. Speaking of which, I gotta get home and get ready. Okay, thanks for coming over. Let me know how it goes, okay? Will do, see you tonight. Try not to go overboard with this, okay? My parents have an interesting sense of humor. <laughs> anyway, your mother already informed me about the whole situation. So feel free to head to your office. Oh, okay, thanks, Susie. Absolutely.
it's renovation time. marriage fixer. Catherine, would you get off the line? You could be keeping me from a very important phone call. Somebody's marriage could be at stake. <laughs> How's the job going so far? Are you overwhelmed yet? Nope, not yet. I just got settled in. I'm so loving this right now. I feel so important sitting behind a desk. Glad to hear this hasn't gone to your head yet. Yeah, yeah. I gotta go. I got things to do. Okay. I still think you should check the instructions your mom gave you. Okay, okay. Bye. Yes, your bottle of water, Miss Thompson. Oh, and I forgot. Here's a list of the couples you're going to meet. One of them is going to be here in an hour. Is that okay? Absolutely. you. I, Grace Thompson, marriage counselor extraordinaire, will be your counselor this week. Now what seems to be the problem? I have no idea. I think our marriage is doing wonderfully. Don't listen to her. Our marriage is not okay. Why do you say that? My wife is abusive. She's what? Well, she's unintentionally abusive. She doesn't mean to be. Oh my gosh, that's not true. I'm not abusive. That's so silly. Good. You see what I mean? This is from two weeks ago and this is from last month. Huh. I can see how that can be an issue. Well, what are you gonna do, Grace? <sighs> hmm. I've got it! Do you guys have any bubble wrap? Yeah. Why? Drew, you're gonna wrap yourself in bubble wrap every time you're with your wife. That way you can spend quality time with each other without getting hurt. Don't take it off around her ever, okay? Stop by, say hi, and then I have to go because I have things to do. <laughs> hey, there you are. Hey! So, how'd it go? Oh, it was intense. I had to deal with an abusive marriage today. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Did you help them out? Oh yeah. Their marriage should be much better by now. I've got this all under control. Do you now? Sounds like another train wreck to me. Hello, Shelly. Hello, Kelly. Are you seriously the new marriage counselor? Yes, I am. Those poor couples. Say what you guys want, but I'm proud of my new job. I'm fixing people's marriages. Grace, you don't fix anything. You ruin everything. Every time there's a problem and you try to solve it, you screw it all up. You need to just stop being bad to everybody and leave us all alone. I wouldn't worry about them. I mean to everyone. I just I don't need to worry about them. I need to go home and prepare for tomorrow. I have 
even more couples tomorrow and I need to be on top of my game. Grace, I think you're getting way too worked up about this. Just take things slow and give it to God. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gotta go. I have things to do. Bye. Shelly and Kelly have always been mean to me. I wasn't going to listen to their opinions. I felt pretty confident in myself and my work. My parents let me do this after all. What could go wrong? Same now as you can see, this is the amazing Grace. How may I help you? Hi Grace, it's Sharon um, from yesterday. I was just calling to let you know that my husband is in the hospital and I don't think he's going to be out soon enough for our next meeting. In the hospital? What happened? I hope he gets better. Well, my job didn't start out too great. No biggie. Everyone has their screw-ups. I wasn't going to let this get me down. Besides, it was early in the week. There was still time to get up to speed. Come in. Oh yeah, I remember you guys. Good to see you. What are your names? My name is Brandon. This is my wife, Anna. Hi. Wait a sec, aren't you that guy who robbed the thrift shop a couple weeks ago? No, that's my twin brother. We don't really talk about him. Gotcha. Well, nice to meet you both, and as I recall, you two had quite an argument earlier. What's going on? Well, it's pretty simple, really. We both like to play games, but we're both really competitive, and it's starting to get out of hand. What do you mean? Well. Our competitiveness is making us really mad at each other all the time. Even the smallest things we can't do anymore without it turning into a who's going to win. We've gone from playing Italian racers to board games to cooking. And we managed to turn everything into a competition. Huh. How long has this been going on between you two? Uh, about two weeks now. I see. Maybe you guys just need to crank up the competition. What? what? Since you guys have only been competing with each other for a little while now, I think you guys just need to get it out of your system. I suggest you two push the limits of the games you play together. Play to win. Nothing less. Losing is not an option in your marriage. Uh, I don't know. Sounds like a bad idea. Of course it's a good idea. This is your time. Show each other who's boss. You must be notorious. Yes! Did you see the way he looked at her? Yeah, that was crazy. Hey, Kathy. Hey. Where's Grace? Oh, she won't be here tonight. She has a lot of homework. Uh, so, can we ask you a question? Sure. Why are you friends with her? Grace? We've always been friends. Kathy, she does not care about you. What do you mean she doesn't care about me? When was the last time she wanted to hang out without asking for something? Does she ever just want to talk? Sounds like she's not a very good friend. If I were you, I'd stop tagging along with her before she really hurts you. each other. You broke the TV. Not talking to each other. Okay, I understand. Thanks for calling. Keep me updated. What am I gonna do? All the couples I'm dealing with are doing terribly. If my mom finds out, she'll kill me. 
I need you to come over tonight so we can fix all this. No, Grace. No, 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 it'll be fine. You can bring your homework with you and you can do it there. Anyways, uh, I need to think of some good advice Grace, stop it! I'm not coming to your house and I'm not helping you with your stupid plans anymore. You make all these messes and expect me to come clean up after you. Well, friendship doesn't work that way. The only time you ever want to talk to me is when you need help. Not once have you asked how I am. Not once. And even when I do give you advice, you never listen. Maybe everyone else is right. Maybe you do ruin everything. I had never felt more guilt, shame, failure, and loneliness in my life. I had failed my job, my parents, and my friend. Most of all, I had failed God. Not once did I seek His will in any of this. I did things my own way. I guess I deserved what happened to me. I wanted to pray, but I was too ashamed to even speak to God. I thought, my sin is so deep, how can I even think of asking Him for forgiveness? Come in. Hey there. You okay? Not exactly. Get a job? Yeah, something like that. Did you read your mom's instructions? No. She told me you might not. I think it's time to take a look at it. For sin will have no dominion over you, since you are not under the law, but under grace. Grace. Hello? Hey, Mom. I really need your help. I really screwed up this time. What happened? I didn't do well handling your job at all. I've only made things worse. The couples you had me talk to are worse off because of me. And Kathy and I aren't even friends anymore. I just feel so awful. I tried to pray, but I feel like God's mad at me. At this point, I feel like he doesn't even love me. Grace, listen to me. I want you to know that there is nothing that you could do that would change God's love for you. You belong to him and he belongs to you and there is always forgiveness found in him. But mom, you don't know what I've done. You're right, I don't know what happened, but I do know that God does. He knows every motive and every intention and everything about us. And guess what? What? He still loves you. Jesus loves us and we can't always understand it because it's not a love like we have. His love is unconditional. He sent his son to die for us so that we could be forgiven and live again. And when he looks at us, he doesn't see us. He sees his son, Jesus, on that cross that died for you and me. So he does love you with an accepting love and an eternal forgiveness. He does? He sure does. Grace, your father and I named you that because that means undeserved kindness. And that's exactly what he gives each of us. So you ask for forgiveness and he forgives. Thanks, Mom. I love you. I love you too. I'll be praying for you. Bye. Undeserved kindness. I've never thought of my name like that before. Amazing grace to fight all your fears.
your faith in the grace that can save. God's amazing grace. I received a peace I had never felt before. My guilt was gone and I felt clean. God had changed me that day and was already making me new. I had to do. God showed grace to me and now it was time for me to spread it. Really? I need to go. Look who decided to come. What do you want? I just came here to apologize for the way I've been acting. I realize how selfish I've been and I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so arrogant. Yeah, whatever. We don't want to be friends with you. What are you even doing here anyways? I'm really sorry about everything. Me too. <laughs> While not everyone showed grace towards me, I continue to show grace. I keep giving it because I know how much we all need it. Is it hard to do? Oh yeah, it's hard. But whenever I mess up, I know that God will forgive me and give me the strength to do better. As long as I keep my eyes on Jesus and His love, I can show love to anybody in any circumstance. After all, His grace is amazing. amazing grace. Faith in His grace that does save God's amazing. 